Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. All right, let's talk. We got Krishan Rock, AK, Blueface, Jaden Alexis. We also got Ari Fletcher, and we also got Jocelyn. We got Summer Walker and Meech. The list goes on. And we got Courtney Kardashian with some good news. I mean, there's a couple good news in this video, so let's get straight into the shenanigans, though. So y'all already know. Miss Ari and Tiana, you know, these are G Herbo baby mothers, and they have been a little iffy, iffy throughout the years, but you would have think that it was over. So Ari Fletcher decided to go on her Twitter, and she had to get some things off her chest, and she is not very happy. My child was left in her care, and she took my son outside somewhere, and I called to talk to my son. She had my number blocked and told her mama I can't have her number and take it up with her. If I can't have a contact on who has my son because you don't like me, then you shouldn't have my son. So now everybody got your number because find somebody else to play with. And if y'all don't know what she's talking about because find somebody else to play with, talking about and now everybody got your number, she definitely leaked Tiana's number, which I felt was really petty. She also says his dad left town and I didn't even know, so my baby was left with her, which isn't a problem, but at least let me have a contact so I could check up on my baby. That's crazy. Somebody says, now Ari, it was better ways to handle that situation. She said, no, it wasn't. I called from numerous numbers, called his dad, called his grandma, DM'd her. Don't tell me about better ways. Now, also, with her, you know, her little response, people want to comment to saying, don't let Jaden see this here. Um, blue face baby mama saying how I get in it. Like... Listen, Jaden Alexis don't have nothing to do with this. I don't think that Jaden Alexis is not a side chick. That's how I feel. I feel like Jaden Alexis and Krishan Rock have, um, you know, their own roles to play. But I don't think nobody has a one-up on anybody, to be honest with you. Yeah, Jaden Alexis has more history with Blueface, but he's treating both of them the same. He has like a little, uh, uh, you know, for each of them. But listen, Jaden Alexis don't got nothing to do with this. Jaden Alexis never left Blueface, so how is she the side chick? If anything, Krishan Rock was a side chick because <laughs> she she thought she took Blueface away from Jaden Alexis. So let's get into that. To be honest, I'm a mother. So I want everybody's number that my child is with. Because, yes, I want contact numbers. Like, who the heck wouldn't have a contact number for the person that's watching your child? And on the other hand, ain't it supposed to be G Herbo? Like, ain't it his time to spend time? Why is Tiana watching G Herbo son, like that's weird to me. I just feel like if you have your day, spend time with your son, regardless of what you have to do. But that's just my opinion. Listen, leaking someone's phone number won't help you get in contact with your child any faster. And if said person is insane already, you just made it worse. Um, still doesn't change the fact that your baby has an iPad and an iPhone, but you chose to post Tiana's phone number out of spite. Hold on, her baby broke though. So what is you saying? I know he ain't got more money than money bag yo though. You just not happy. There's no way you so mad at this lady four years later. If you're not bitter in a happy relationship, why are you still pressed on that woman that your ex is with? Ari, let it go. You don't have to want him to be bitter, but you are definitely being bitter. You tried to ruin his girl character once. He lucky she still wants you to be around your child and help her about. You so angry. You raised that little boy like a grown man, so teach him to keep. While we on the topic, can um somebody explain to me why is he with his daddy's girlfriend and not his daddy when it's his daddy's weak mom to get him? I thought the point was to spend time with his dad. And if his daddy has something going on, he should have been left with his mama. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Now, also, Ari said, let me say this real quick because y'all got to let this bitter baby mama thing go. Respectfully saying I want to be with my baby daddy is like saying I'm a broke girl. It's never, ever going to happen. I treat Herb like a brother. I have no desire to F with him outside of co-parenting relationship. Being a side mm, to your own baby daddy is the lowest, most embarrassing thing you can be in the world. So cut that stuff out, okay? So these are what people were talking about in the previous comments. This is what they're talking about regarding the bitter baby mama situation. Hmm. I mean, if y'all have this so-called brother and sister relationship, shouldn't y'all have better communication? He knows that how you feel about him, I guess, without having a contact. So why would he let that happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be better communication. Now, I know Tiana's not the one that's going to be dangerous to her child. So I know 
Ari is not thinking about that because if that's the case, I wouldn't let my child go at all. I don't care about who is what. If it ain't with the daddy and it ain't supervised, then I don't want them around. But that's that's not the case. Ari clearly trusts Tiana to be around her child. But yes, as a parent, I want to have all type of communications with my child. Give me all the numbers. Now, y'all know CJ so cool and his baby mother royalty situation going on. Check out my previous videos about that situation. Now, he's not done because people were still dragging it. So, I guess he's responding. So, he goes on his story, y'all. Remember, my YouTube is for entertainment purposes only. So, when I said my baby mama Nike was my security guard, it's for entertainment purposes. But when Charlene pulled up with her goons and my kids right there at my scheduled pickup, that was a totally different experience. That's called an ambush. What I did was I repeat entertainment only, but she took it to the street. So, now, like I've always said, I don't want my kids around her in her P-I-M-P. Not him saying that Rico's a P-I-M-P, was so frightened by baby D. Not baby D. Look what it says. Yeah, because she knows she gonna lose. All right, and then CJ So Cool puts this out. Okay, I own her YouTube and her LLC. You see how she puts something out? Like, we go, like, oh my God, CJ's really going to lose his kids. Like, he put it out. He's seen it, girl. Keep playing with CJ. It's easy for him to hit that delete button on your YouTube, Charlene. That's what somebody said on their stories and added CJ So Cool. And CJ So Cool reposted that and said, I own her YouTube and her LLC. So, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments below. I feel like both of them should get a little bit more mature. Royalty needs to move on, be with her little polygamy, PIMP, whatever the situation she got going on over there. And focus on making sure that y'all situation is like on a level because right now it's like spiraling and it's going to get really worse. So let's just see who has the last laugh at the end because it's not cute. Now, y'all already know this little triangle situation going on with Blueface and his baby mothers, okay? There is a video that Blueface just put out um, showing that he has his little ankle monitor on. But everybody noticed that there's two bags on the counter and also Blueface is with his kids. And I'm going to show y'all a clip in a minute. Everybody is speculating that Blueface has both of them in the same room. Now, this is Blueface showing his little ankle monitor and his kids is with him. Now, let's take a focus on the bags on the table. There is a makeup bag and there is a pocketbook on the table. Now, everybody was like, oh, my God, that makeup bag is Krishan Rock's Krishan Rock makeup bag. But there's a lot of makeup bags like this, y'all, so I don't know. Jaden Alexis, we already know that's her bag, okay? So everybody is like, okay, pinpoint the bags out there together. Um, Do y'all think they're in a poly relationship or do you think? What can be the outcomes, okay? It could either be blue faces with his kids and Jaden left out and he snuck rock in a crib, never know. Or if they did do a poly, they should be open about it, you know, because they will make more money and get more clout. Who wouldn't want to see a poly relationship unfold? I sure would. Would y'all like to see Blueface with Kashar Rock and Jaden and Alexis in a poly relationship and let the whole world see how that unfolds? I would, because that's definitely going to be a lot of entertainment. Because <laughs> who wouldn't watch it? It would be so crazy. But let's get straight into the comments. Oh, please. That's not happening. Or he buys them both the same stuff. That makeup bag is universal. I got one like that too. The purses ain't the same. I doubt that Jaden is going for that. Let's talk about it. Jaden does go for Polly because her and Blueface already did it. But the question is, would she do it with Krishan Rock? I personally don't think so, but maybe she'll do it for the money and maybe she'll do it for that. I'm just saying because I already thought that it was like a little setup going on. Now, Krishan Rock. I don't think that she's going to go for it because she doesn't seem like the type of person to share her guy, as of a lot of women don't, okay? I really think she's a monogamy person, and I don't think that she'll be down with it, but you never know nowadays. Now, let's fast forward. Y'all already know Kashawn Rock was spotted a while back, or multiple times, with a blend in her hand, rolling up, doing something, whatever, looking high. It don't matter. Now, it's resurfaced that her and Glorilla went on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I gotta be hella sober. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Oh, hell no. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> hella sober rolling a blunt. Look at Glorilla's face. She just looked it off. Glorilla looking like, yeah, sober. Uh huh. Get that phone up. Get that phone up.
Now, I did a poll on my Instagram. Did you smoke bud when pregnant? 55% said yes, 45% said no. Do not know how much people wrote it, but this is what I have so far. Me, personally, I stopped everything. There was not a drink. There was no nothing in sight. When, I, when I'm pregnant, everything got to go. It's the health of the baby that matters. Now, these are my comments on my Instagram. She be rolling those blunts for blue. Laughing emojis. Y'all forgot she rolls blunts for blue. I'm a heavy smoker, been that since I was 18, but every time I got pregnant, I quit. Not here to judge, but smoking anything isn't good for anybody, especially if you're pregnant. Everyone's saying it's for a blue when he's at the apartment in Vegas with his kids. She's not rolling no blunt for him while he with Jaden. Just more Dalu behavior from the rock tars. Okay, so we got some agreeing and disagreeing. Now, we also got she in Vegas with Blue. She probably roll up for him. And Blue do smoke around his kids. I'm disturbed that half of black mothers have proudly smoked during their pregnancy. Some of y'all even proudly drank and fought. Rory said, no wonder we are not respected. Shake of my head. I could just say this. It doesn't matter what color you are or race you are. A lot of people out here smoke, drink, and fight while pregnant. Okay? Doesn't her saying she has to say hella sober imply it's not hers? This isn't the first time she's rolled on live. She did it for Blue the last time. Not defending, just asking for clarity. Okay, my thing is this, y'all. We do not know if she smoked the blunt or not, but she is rolling the blunt. She has been looking high and lit throughout her pregnancy. So, I mean, what is she doing? Catching contact or is she just tired? Let me know down in the comments below. But at this point, we already seen her drinking and smoking already before, even when she found out she was pregnant. So, I mean, it wouldn't be nothing new. And yes, everybody um carries their pregnancy different. Nobody applies by the same rules. It is what it is. It's your body. It's her body if y'all want to smoke a drink and fight do whatever y'all want to do to jeopardize your kids health and safety then that's on y'all all right but a lot of people out here we don't drink we don't smoke we care about the living human being that's growing inside of our bodies but you know that's everybody else's opinion they got it and you know we move how we move congratulations to king kaiser and his baby mama lena all right they are pregnant well she is pregnant and she is due in january so congratulations to them another congratulations for courtney kardashian and travis okay she announced that she's pregnant they are excited she did this in front of everybody while he was performing and i love that all right now summer walker and mish has something to tell y'all there's a million more things y'all could be worried about than me and this man it's been like three days now let's hang it the f up Y'all all need help and will believe anything. Summer ain't going nowhere. So everybody can go back to their effed up lives and keep hating. We on vacation. All right, Meech, we hear you. Uh, Summer is going to allow whatever you, you know, whatever she decides to allow when it comes to you. Okay, it is what it is. Jocelyn Hernandez, not her having merch with her mugshot looking like that. Who in the heck is going to buy that? I mean, her true fans probably will buy that. You know, the delusional ones, because really, last minute product. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about a little bit of the recap, okay? Now, let's go back with Krishan Rock and this uh, purses on the counter, okay? We don't know who house that was, because I never saw a brown couch. I never saw that layup, um, that, that, that setup. All right, in a house. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Is that an Airbnb? Who crib is that? Because it don't look like none of Blueface's cribs. But anyways, like I said, if they did a poly relationship, I would watch it because I feel like that would be more entertainment than it being separate and they doing the same thing like they're doing now. I think they should spice it up. Come together if they not already. And um, yeah, be in a poly relationship. Let's see how the arguments go, the fights, and you know, the parenting. Because we already know that's going to be a disaster. But yeah, they would definitely make more money and I would be all for it. <laughs> because they with him anyway, so why not? The smoking thing, like I said, everybody, you know... They do their pregnancy different, not here to judge, but everybody does have opinions and I'm going to speak minds. I personally think once you're pregnant, I feel like everything that goes inside your body, like cigarettes, bud, drinking, whatever, it has to stop. Because there's not even real studies on marijuana. Let's, let's keep it up. There's not no real in-depth science behind it. Like, let's stop. And if I'm not mistaken before... Mothers will have ACS, CPS, call them in a minute if their blood work came out, if they had marijuana in their system, their kids, ACS, all of that get called. 
that happened, okay? So that means that it's not good at all to be having that in your system while pregnant. Do not know about it now because you know it's legal, but you never know. But anyways, I said about that. Now, when it comes to Ari, like I said, I'm a mom. So, of course, I want every number that is around my child. That If my child's not in my sight, I best believe I'm going to be checking up on my child because as a parent, that's what you do. Regardless if the child's with their father or not. I'm calling. Hello, let me speak to my baby. Yeah, what are you doing, boo-boo? Yeah, that's just that. So, yeah, Ari Fletcher is not wrong in that state of, you know, because she wants to speak to her child, want to know if her child is good, okay? But when I said Ari and her and Tiana, they all need to, I'm telling you, when you have a baby mother, baby father, not all the time is going to be goody-goody. Not everybody's going to be on the same shoes. But mm, I don't know how this is going to go. And her leaking the number is real petty to me. I felt like that was uncalled for. You know, like, it's other ways to do things. Like, I don't know. Mm, but how do y'all think that's going to unfold? But let me know how y'all feel about all of this. Let me know in my Instagram, e Toxic Teen Lounge. If you have any suggestions of things that y'all would like for me to talk about. And until next time, settle up.